The Alberni Valley Bulldogs have been playing hockey in Port Alberni since 2002, and during that time there have certainly been changes. But the 2017 season sees more new faces than ever before, both on and off the ice. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2017-2018 Alberni Valley Bulldogs! We wanted more skill. That was the number one thing we identified right away is that we, you know, I watched a lot of game tape over the summer and, you know, when, whenever you come into a new scenario, you want to put, I guess, your little bit of your stamp on things, but there's a way that we wanted to play the game. And in order to play that way, you got to have a certain type of player. You know what, um, change is good. It, sometimes it can be difficult, but I think change is good. We've got a complete turnover in our hockey operations side from head coach, assistant coach and trainer. And we've hired a new uh, director of business operations as well. There's another change that could prove significant. Rick Shevink, director of scouting for the team, has added another role, director of player development. My role with the team, which will, which will be somewhat new from years past, is more related to what I do with the Skills Academy, which is one-on-one -on -one stuff. So uh, when I have a chance to sit with the players and they suggest to me what their goals and objectives are, combined with what the coaches identify as perhaps uh, areas to improve in their game, that's where I'll come in with these players. We'll, we'll hit the ice together. Uh, there'll be um, more short training sessions, if you will, repetition. The overall approach is one that returning players especially appreciate. I do. I think Rick knows what he's doing, and he'll uh, bring the best out of each player. I mean, we've got a different coaching staff, a whole different team this year. I like, I like the way things are looking. For us, I mean, we know that those individual skills, you've got to work on them every day to work in order to put them into a team environment and in order to put them into, into game action. We have a young team. Um, um, we only have four or five returning players, so uh, we'll see how this plays out. I mean, you, you do re rely on uh, veteran players to some degree, but, you know, it gives uh, also the 18 and 19-year-olds a chance to step up to the plate and show us what they've got. And, uh, it's their turn. We're really excited to see what the players are going to bring because the coaches have been delivering the systems, teaching them the systems that they need them to operate under. And uh, I think they're doing a really outstanding job. There's a lot of excitement, I mean, around the group. I mean, like you said, it's a lot of new faces, both on and off the ice. It's, it's a fresh outlook for people. It's a, it's a new attitude within the dressing room. Yeah, for sure. I think we got a lot in store, and uh, I think we're going to bring it this year. I'm pleased with the culture that he's creating in the, in the dressing room. I'm really excited. It's a, it's a uh, younger, more dynamic uh, uh, era for us. The character of the people we brought in are, are from winning programs, and you know, and that means a lot for me. You know, as guys that expect to win when they come to the ring. They expect to be successful, and if you have that, I mean, that's half the battle.